Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have had so many requests to show you guys how I do a charcuterie board. And we are actually doing like a Christmas party tonight with all of our friends and neighbors. We started this last year and kind of do like a progressive dinner with everyone. So each house does like their own appetizers or dinners or dessert or whatever you want to make. And of course, we are making a charcuterie board. So I thought it was the perfect time to show you guys how we do it. We're also gonna make a cocktail and possibly one other thing. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and we're gonna go ahead so and get first started. thing that I like to do is kind of lay out all of my dishes that I'm gonna use obviously for a charcuterie board you would normally use like a big um, cutting board but because we're gonna have so many people we're actually going to seven different houses so you can imagine how many people they're gonna be this is obviously not gonna fit everything so I just have like little plates here and there that I could also put like cheese or crackers on I think I just got this at Walmart for a dollar I think I'm gonna put like cookies in here um, and then these are just like the plates that I picked up for everyone so once you have all of your boards picked out or your plates that you're going to use, the next thing is deciding what all you're going to put on your charcuterie board. Okay, so I know this looks like a lot of stuff, but I am going to break it down for you guys. So the first thing that you're going to need for a charcuterie board is obviously meat and cheese. The whole purpose of it. And I like to do two or three cheeses and I always do a variety. I always get a cheddar cheese because that's what most people know. And so even if someone is kind of like nervous about eating the charcuterie board or has never like had one they're gonna feel comfortable with that and then I'll always do like a goat cheese because again that's something that's like familiar to people and it's more of like a softer cheese which most people like and it spreads really good and then I always love to do a blue cheese because if people are crazy like me they love it um so that way it gives you like a variety of different cheeses and then I'll always do two meats you can do a third one if you want but I always get prosciutto and then um usually we get salami or how do you say it bunk so prosciutto so I can never say that which is kind of like a salami right yeah so um just get like two or three different meats and two or three different cheeses and start there and then you're gonna build onto your charcuterie board so you're gonna need obviously something to um, eat your meat and cheese on. So I always get a few different options as far as like crackers or bread goes. So tonight we just went and got this, um, what is it called? French baguette. French baguette from Harris Teeter. And she actually sliced it for us in the store so they'd be like little bite-sized pieces. And then I love to get these cinnamon sugar pretzels. You will not believe how good they are whenever you eat them, even with like blue cheese and honey and mustard. It's like that sweet savory. It's amazing. And then I always get some like different little pita chips. So once you have that and your meat and cheese, you're going to want to add your different dips. So one of the best things for a charcuterie board is of course stone ground mustard. It is amazing and it tastes so good with cheese. And then we always like to do something sweet. So any type of like fig jam, apricot preserves, orange marmalade, something like that. And then we usually do just a little bit of honey as well. And then you're gonna wanna have some kind of dip. So um, whether it be like a hummus or a spinach artichoke dip, this one I just got from Trader Joe's and it is a artichoke and jalapeno dip. We thought that sounded really good. And then we have this olive tapenade, tapenade, how do you say it, Bunky? Tapenade. Tapenade as well to use for like dipping and things like that. And then of course you always wanna do some sort of olives. So we have these garlic stuffed olives as well as the sweet jerkins. Gherkins. Gherkins, just kidding. <laughs> And then of course you're gonna want to dress up your charcuterie board. So to me, laying like a big group of grapes just looks so beautiful. And then I usually like to take pieces of either sage or rosemary and sprinkle it across my charcuterie board. When we were at the grocery store, they did not have any rosemary that looked pretty. So I'm just sticking with the sage tonight. And then I also picked up a red and green bell pepper, very festive and Christmassy. And I think actually one of you told me to do this. I'm gonna cut the top off of one and take out like the seeds and stem and actually um, put our artichoke jalapeno dip inside of it. I thought that was a really great idea. And then I just have these little dried apricots to lay throughout the board as well. Also, we have some, I forgot to get the pecans out. It's always good to have some sort of like pecan or almond, some sort of nut as well. So we're going to go ahead and start assembling this bad boy.
Meanwhile, we've got Mr. Monkey over here. He's growing up some sausage. We have our cream cheese over there and then some crescent rolls. You guys have probably seen me make this before. It's so good and so easy. So I think we're gonna make that tonight as well. Another tip that I have is always go to the deli to get your meats. They can slice it however you want. We get prosciutto sliced like really thinly and it's so much less expensive. So like this um, salami was $2.86. And the prosciutto was six eighty eight, dollars um, And sometimes we can even get it cheaper than that, but way less than like going and buying it prepackaged. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way. Another way to make your charcuterie board stand out is by adding like some height or different textures by just simply adding a really beautiful bowl and putting your dips in there. It kind of gives it a different element and just heightens it and makes it look really decorative and beautiful. So giddy up, root of my dear Eight pair of empty On words ever go Desher and prancer Moving through Tell us what you got going over here uh, I've got some crescent rolls here I think that's what they're called, right? Yeah. And we have laid one layer down. Uh-huh. And then we spread our sausage evenly across the bottom layer. That's mixed with cream cheese. That's mixed with cream cheese. And then so now simple. we're laying another layer on top. And the brand that we normally buy, this is just one sheet instead of two. I got the Walmart ones. But it's going to work. <laughs> we're going to make it work. And then you're just going to do a little... um egg white on do top we do yeah oh. and then you bake it in the oven and you just bake it at whatever temperature your crescent roll say i yeah. said 375. there you go well, he is going to make us a cocktail tell us what you're making b it's called oops it's called a white christmas margarita Ooh, y'all know i love the margarita we've never had these before yeah tell us what the ingredients are we have one 14 ounce can of <laughs> unsweetened coconut milk. Are you supposed to get the sweetened kind? Oh gosh. I just got nervous. It just says canned coconut milk. Okay, so hopefully that's right. I can't get this, so. You do that for a second while I'll clean up. You're just gonna show me? It's, it's recording. Am I supposed to be talking? Whatever you wanna do, yeah, talk, talk. Um. Okay, so we're gonna dump that in there. Mm, oh, mm. that didn't look very good. Okay, there's our one 14 ounce can of coconut milk. Okay. Next, we need, uh-oh. What? We not might not have enough tequila. It says 12 ounces of tequila. We don't have enough tequila. I asked you. This is gonna be so gross. Why? All right, nope, I think we might have enough tequila. Woo. Whoa. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. No way. It was the perfect amount. 12 ounces of white or clear tequila. A cup of lime juice. I think it's on choice, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. The one who always get mad at me for making those.
This doesn't say anything about coconut water. I know the, the other one that I um, read mm -hmm. said yeah. coconut water, so I was like, well, it won't hurt. How much do you want to put in there? Just like half that can. Half of it? Okay, What's, you just, okay. Oh, no, there's chunks of coconut in here. Oh. I knew that because I drink this stuff all the time. That's fine. What else? You want to do... Let's do that. Oh, you'll do one more. Oh, lime juice. Or you put that in there? I already put the lime juice in there. Oh, triple set. Are you going to put triple set in it? I, I, I think you should. Okay. Why not? This is either going to be really good or it's going to be really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope it's good. All right. No need to stir. Just kidding. I guess once we put some ice in there, that won't look so gross. What do you think? It's terrible. <laughs> Why are you making that face? Taste it. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> I don't think the triple stick should have gone in there. I don't like it. <laughs> we, gonna, we gotta serve these people something, Monkey. It needs something sweet. We're gonna have to make the Monkey Paca. Does it need? It's all. No, maybe it just needs ice. I think that when it's cold, maybe it'll be better. Not sure how. Here is an overview of everything. I like literally was running out of space everywhere, so I kind of just like made it work. Um, I think I'm gonna invest in a bigger cutting board so that I can make these a lot better. But um, this is what everything looks like. I think they're so pretty. So I just put all of our little like Thin Mint Star Cookies in um, this little Christmas tree plate. I think they look really cute and festive. And then we have our sweet Gherkin. gherkins, our olives. I did this little plate. But like here we have like the bread and pita chips. And then for our main charcuterie board, we have our cheeses and meat. This is the olive tapenade, our little dipping sauces, and then this is this um, stuffed bell pepper with the artichoke and jalapeno dip. And then over here, I just have more meat, bread, and the um, <laughs> kitty pecans. What are you laughing at? You're like, what is it? You don't know what it's called, girl. What? He was like, what? I'm getting tongue twisted. Okay, so everyone is about to be at our house. I have everything laid out here. Mr. Bunky's casserole looks delicious. So here is a look at all of my little charcuterie boards. And we're about to trash <laughs> my white Christmas margarita and make a meal with ginger ale, apple cider, and vodka. Mr. B looking dapper. Okay, looking good. Get the uh, hmm? lime juice out. Okay. Um, start with vodka. Start with vodka. Uh -huh. I'm trying to think about how much should be in here. Just go to I say stop. So I've actually been making this apple cider meal for the past couple of weeks and it's kind of been like my favorite cocktail right now. I have not normally been putting lime juice in there but obviously that's what a normal meal would have in it. So when Bunky asked me to get it out I just didn't even think but it ended up being really good so I like the lime juice in there. So lime juice, ginger ale, apple cider, and vodka and it's amazing.
Okay, so I thought I would just pick this vlog back up. I did my charcuterie board. We had our Friendsgiving, and then Bunky and I just had a super relaxing, like, super lazy Sunday, so we didn't do anything. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me today. I actually just left the doctor. I went to get a physical. I have not had one in years. I know that's terrible, but I have not. So I went today to do, like, blood work and all of just, like, the normal stuff. I'm actually trying to figure out I know that my hair loss is like hormonal because I've always had just like lots of issues when it comes to that which is a big reason why we haven't been able to get pregnant so I just want to like try and figure all of this out um so anyways I'm a physical and now I'm about to head to Charlotte because I'm getting my hair done today which is why it looks kind of frizzy and crazy um and then I'm hoping to go have lunch with Bunky and do some shopping at South Park so I thought I'd just bring you guys along with me since it's going to be a super fun day uh -huh. hey baby Hi. I'm about to be pulling in. Okay, is it coil sun? No, it feels good. It's like 61. Um, I'll be out there in a second. Okay, love you. See you later. Bye. See what I just picked up. About to go to CPK, get some pizza. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just left Funky. We had lunch at California Pizza Kitchen. I had some fried buffalo cauliflower. It was so good. And now I'm here to get my hair done. So I'm going to go in because I am almost running late. It's white outside. And the night is cold. Everyone's lighting candles in their home. Christmas It's a magic time Okay, so I just left Andrea's. She always does the best job. I love her so much. I love just getting to talk to her and hang out, but also she always makes my hair look amazing. So anyways, it's a little bit after three and I was going to go back to the mall because I didn't really get to do any shopping when I was there earlier with Bunky. Um, and there are still some Christmas presents I need to buy, but I feel like if I go back there at this point, I'm going to be in terrible traffic trying to get home and I definitely don't want to do that. Um, so I think I'm just going to head home now. I can't decide if I'm going to actually go home and clean because our kitchen is definitely a mess or if I'm gonna try and do some shopping there so we'll see I'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit okay so I stopped at Chick-fil-a on my way home and I got a sweet tea and then I got here and all of a sudden I felt like I had this like wave of exhaustion just hit me and so I was like okay I just need to rest my eyes for five minutes well that turned into 20 minutes and then Bunky called and said he was on his way home from work so I was like I better get up um but anyways I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here we're actually going to my parents house tonight we're gonna have like pizza with them and so I'm really excited um but I need to go ahead and start editing this video so you guys can see it I'm sorry I didn't film more today I feel like I was just so busy and I had to be like at one appointment to the next the next and then I just lost all track of time um so anyways it's probably like this video is probably all over the place so hopefully it's going to turn out okay but be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new i love you so very much and i will see you in the next one bye y'all